Scales. The Scales pane allows you to customize your performance to a specific Western scale or Indian Raga. The Scales or Raga drop-down menu shows a list of available scales and ragas to choose from. Once you select one, you will see the notes existing in that scale or raga below. If you then check the Ignore Other Notes box, only the notes in the raga will be played. Use this carefully because some compositions may sound erratic if you forget it's on. Another important point to mention here is that Indian notes such as Sa, Re, Ga, Ma are relative. They become absolute when you select the pitch on which the first note Sa is based. By default here, it is set to C, but clicking on it allows you to select a different bass note. Below each note, you also have a vertical slider. This allows you to define a slightly different pitch for a note. This is the case for some ragas and it's called shrutis or microtones. Press that key and start sliding to tune it to the exact pitch you want. You can do that with a small drag. And if you want to reset it to zero, press Alt and click. Finally, not only can a note be included or ignored, but it can also be moved to the previous or next one. This is achieved by clicking on the toggle button above each note. Arohas and Avarohas Arohas and Avarohas are respectively the upward and downward scale of the Raga. Swerplug 4 has functionality to play such scales by a simple key press. Here's how to do that. Typically, you would use this functionality on an instrument that has some sympathetic strings that can be played this way, such as the sitar, sarod, swermandal, etc. The first step is to define the key range in which the sympathetics area is. You can do that by selecting a start and end note under the range label. Sympathetics should be in the first row of the key maps, but they don't need to be within the area you are covering with your MIDI controller. Once that area is selected, you should be able to press the play buttons and hear the Aroha Avaroha of the selected raga. The gain knob lets you change the velocity or strength of each note, and the gap knob lets you modulate the gap between notes. Apart from playing, you can also save that melody as a MIDI file to use in your tracks. It is saved in the clip subfolder of your instrument. Now, if you're playing live, you may also want to trigger the Aroha Avaroha by a simple key press. This is achieved by selecting a note for each under the assigned key label. Make sure the notes selected are within reach of your MIDI controller. You should see them as a vertical bar in the key maps pane. Then once you press one or the other, the corresponding aroha or avaroha should play.